please, please be seated. We continue our happy journey in joy. Today we relight the candles of hope and of peace, and we light the third candle. We light the third Advent candle, the candle of joy. As we prepare for the coming of Jesus, our joy builds with anticipation of his birth. to remind us of God's promises of joy and celebration of fulfillment and expectation. Loving God, we give thanks to you for the joy of this Advent season. May the light of these candles shine in the mind of the joy that shines so brightly. Now for the call to confession. <clears throat> Move over the face of our deep darkness, our endless restless chaos, and create, O oh God, trouble us, comfort us, stir us up, and calm us, but do not cease to breathe your spirit into our awakening soul. Now, please join in the in unison in the prayer of confession. Slow us down, patient God, so we may see deeply your truth in these bustling days. Help us face the ways we cover up our emptiness with fancy gifts. Hold us gently when we discover how we give presence when only our presence really matters. Grant us moments to praise you like a shepherd's Honor you like Mary, and listen to your dream messages like Joseph. Let us begin now, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please join in the words of assurance. Every valley shall be filled. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked ways shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth. And all flesh shall see the salvation of God. In Jesus Christ we see the salvation of God, and in Him we are made new. Please stand if you're able and join in the hymn of response, number 113, Angels We Have Heard On High. It's printed in your bulletin, the refrain only.
You may be seated. And now would the children like to come forward for the time of children? Good morning. I'm glad we're all here together again this morning. So, what season are we in again? Remember that word we talked about last At, it's, We're in December. We absolutely remember Advent. Advent is the four weeks before Christmas. And it's December. You're right. It's the weeks getting ready. It's Advent. You have Advent calendars. It's the time we get ready for Jesus coming. And we light the Advent candles. And Daniel and Hamlet's parents did that today. Did you notice the candles they lit? They lit three, right? And the first one is for the first Sunday of Advent. Do you remember what that word was? What was the first Sunday? Hope. And you got, what did you get for that? What did you get? It was like a... A plus Yeah, it says God and hope, like that right there. And then um, last week was what? Do you remember what the word was last week? Peace. Peace. And you got, a, 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 what was it? A dove. a dove. Right, it was a bird, a symbol of peace. And what's the word today? Do you remember what? Joy, yes, this one, I love this one. Did you notice the candles? We lit three, but look at, there's a pink one up there. It is a big one. It's a big one too, but it's pink, and the other three are purple. And, and Joy Sunday, often we use a pink candle to remind us, it's more light, to remind us of the light. Sometimes it's called the Mary candle too, but it's the Joy candle. And it's lighter, and it's brighter, and it's pink. And so, not always, but sometimes in Advent wreaths, sometimes they'll be all purple, but sometimes they'll be, a, the third one will be pink, to remind us of the joy of this season. And what is joy? Anybody? What's joy? Yeah. When you're happy. When you're happy, right? And it's, it's even, joy, yeah, we have lots of songs about it, huh? It's when you're happy, and it's even more than that. Sometimes you can be joyful even when things are sad, because you carry that that love of God, that joy, that trust in God in your heart. And on this Sunday, we're talking about joy and how we can share it. By How, how do you share joy? How do you share happiness? Giving. giving, smiling, being nice. Yeah? Sharing. Sharing. Right. Right. And this, yeah. I have, so today I'm going to give you something to remind you of that. And I love this one. Your parents may not like it very much. But we talk about joy and making a joyful noise. And the choir's going to sing. We're going to have special music. We have a lot of, we may talk about making a joyful noise. Jingle bells. I'm going to give you each this. And so when you're thinking about joy and when you're feeling joyful, just you can wear it on your wrist and you can shake it. And you can make a joyful noise yourself. You can make a joyful noise. I'm not going to wear it to yeah, you might not want to wear it to school. I get that. But, but if you want to wear it, yeah, everybody gets one. Don't stay here because we're going to pray still too. If you have siblings, if you have, can you give one? If you have, you guys want one? You can, if you don't want to wear it, you don't have to wear it, but you can just put it in your room or save it. You want one? You guys want one? No, no, you're welcome. And if you have, I have a few more. He don't want one, okay. If I have a few more, so if you, did yours come off already? Did a bell come, don't, yeah, they're, they're sewn on here. Don't, don't pull on them, because they might come off. If you should have three, yeah, yeah. Here, you want me to give you another one that has a bell? All right, let's pray. All right, let's pray. God, we thank you for the joy you give to us in so many ways. You show us that you love us through our, our family, our friends, our church family, and all the ways that you show us you love us and give us joy. Help us to share that joy with others by singing and dancing and making joyful noise and just by giving hugs and smiles. We thank you for the love you give us. Help us to share it with others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, next Sunday is the last Sunday before Christmas. Okay. We're on yours? Very good. All right, you can, some of them have four and some of them have three, I think. They're very pretty, though. The women of the church made them. All right, you want to go to your Sunday school classes? They always make it. Yeah, they do. They're very good. Can I help? You want to go to your class? Yeah. Or go with your mom? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you must 
notice in the bulletin for those of you that are visitors um, we lift up our prayers from the congregation and after each prayer we say God of life and hope and then hear our prayer so are there prayer concerns or joys do we have a microphone oh, okay. sorry do you want this one <laughs> they're just enjoying the service too there's one here too here we go there's one behind you we're going to get her first can I get Chris 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 This is really hard for me to do this morning, but I'll try not to break down. On Friday morning, my um, son-in-law had a massive brain hemorrhage. He is currently in ICU at Good Sam. A little bit of encouraging news this morning was he opened his eyes on his own. The, they did a MRI last night. We don't have the results yet of that, and we don't know what the outcome will be because the neurosurgeon just did a Hail Mary surgery to try to save them at my daughter's request. So please continue to pray for Doug and all of us. Yeah. God of life and hope. Thank you. Here are our prayers. Here it goes. Oh, uh, well. When I call my family, California. I was actually not just checking. I wasn't checking on the family. I was checking on my on our family's dog. And even though my mom told my foster mom told me, I predicted that that she didn't die because she she was getting blind and old. So would you like that? I miss her and like a couple years back we used to have at my group home we used to have a, a staff member known as Connie and she died too and Donald would you like us to lift up prayers for I, your family? And I love and I and love you. every single person I'm not I'm I'm not jealous, I'm not evil. I put others before me, even even the homeless and when like the homeless, you know the homeless that is there is near the Capital Express Armo. When I when they don't have nothing, I buy them coffee or that's, sodas. That's very kind. Thank you for sharing. We will we will lift up your prayers. Okay. God of life and hope. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to lift up prayers for one of my friends. Her mother has been in the hospital for about a month and has been um, really cl you know, close, and they felt they were going to lose her a few times. And um, then uh, while she's going through all this this past week, her son uh, attempted suicide. Thank goodness. Um, he wasn't successful, but they just need a lot of prayers right now. God of life and hope. Susie. A prayer of joy, our niece Ellen, which is Paul's sister's um, daughter, had a baby boy on De December 12th, which was, what day of the week that was? 12th, the Thursday. Thursday, yeah. Um, so mom and dad and baby boy are doing fine. It was supposed to be due on Christmas, so she's kind of happy it was early. <laughs> God of life and hope. And his name is Bennett. Here are prayers. We have to 